On this day in labor history, May 5th, 1931, striking coal miners and police officers in Kentucky engaged in a bloody gunfight known as the Battle of Everts. The organizing miners from Harlan County and Bell County decided to go on strike following Black Mountain Coal Company cutting their wages by 10%. Even before the cuts, they could barely feed their families or find work in Depression-era Kentucky. Local rich elites, bosses, and the police fought against the miners and their families. Company houses were burned down, scabs were brought in, even a mine got blown up. Tensions came to a head in May. Miners prepared to ambush a motorcade of supplies set to go to strike-breaking workers. A single shot rang out, but nobody knows which side it came from. Sheriff's deputies got out of the motorcade and began to fire. Over a thousand shots were fired during the 15-minute battle. Ultimately, the Battle of Everts left two policemen, a striking miner, and a store clerk dead. Many more were injured. The battle caused thousands more miners to join the strike. This battle kicked off the Harlan County Coal Wars, which lasted all the way until 1939. The wars ended with the coal companies finally agreeing to allow unions and their operations. The Battle of Evarts was an instrumental spark that ignited a much broader struggle in the labor movement of the 1930s. The militant miners at the heart of the struggle played a revolutionary role in building better jobs for workers everywhere.